Let's take a big picture look at what's going on here. Over the next uh, decade, two decades, it is uh, expected that there will be $150 billion worth of oil and gas extracted off your coast. It's an extraordinary figure, but think of it in practical terms. That means, according to many experts, more than 2 billion tonnes of carbon emissions will come from your seabed, from those reserves, and be released into the atmosphere. I, I don't know if you as a head of state went to the COP Let in Dubai. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Do you know that Guyana has a forest forever that is the size of England and Scotland combined? A forest that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon? A forest that we have kept alive? A forest that we have kept alive. Does that give you the right? No, does no, that no, no, give no. you the does right that, to release that, all of this right? carbon? Does from that give you the right to, to lecture us on climate change? I am going to lecture you on climate change because we have kept this forest alive that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon that you enjoy, that the world enjoy, that you don't pay us for, that you don't value, that you don't see a value in, that the people of Ghana has kept alive. Guess what? We have the lowest deforestation rate in the world. And guess what? Even with our greatest exploration of the oil and gas resource we have now, we will still be uh, net zero. Guyana will still be net zero. With all our exploration, we will points. still be net zero. No, no, there's no, no... Powerful, no, powerful no, no, words, no, no, no. Mr. President. Hold, hold, hold. But a, a couple... I, I'm not completed as yet. I am not finished as yet. I am just not finished as yet. Because this is the hypocrisy that exists in the world. We, the world in the last 50 years, has lost 65% of all its biodiversity. We have kept our biodiversity. Are you valuing it? Are you ready to pay for it? When is the developed world going well, to pay for it? Or are you, you in the pockets? You, are you in the pockets of those who have damaged the environment? Are you in the pockets? Are you and your system in the pockets of those who destroyed the environment through the industrial revolution and now lecturing us? Are you in their pockets? Are you paid by them? Are you paid right, to keep right, their message?